I'm interested in helping governments understand why some policy innovations succeed, whereas others fail in different contexts. Um, why is it that water reuse has been adopted and successful in Spain and has failed in California? Or why is it that integrated water resources management plans uh, have been relatively successful in Europe and in countries such as the Netherlands and the UK, but seem to have failed in, in Turkey uh, or Kazakhstan? So here uh, I and colleagues are, are interested in understanding how policy context shapes policy innovations and how we can implement institutional design which would be respectful of the local conditions, be them political, social or economic. Of course, once you have uh, quite a rich empirical material of uh, water policy innovations, being implemented across the board in various countries in the world, you're also interested in contributing to understanding of policy more generally. Or rather, you come to understanding that the existing policy models and theories are flawed. And one of the things that uh, I work with colleagues on at the moment is, is try to use the, the water, the, the knowledge from that we have gathered from, from studying water policy around the world in order to bring this fluidity of policy, this policy as something that is moving and that is always in, in motion to the theory of public policy, which means uh, how can we devise frameworks and models which take, which, which look at policy as something that is in motion. We work uh, with IWP on uh, many of those issues which I have mentioned. So for example at the moment we look at how do you um, try and implement non-structural flood risk management measures uh, such as flood warning or uh, water retention ponds in Southeast Asia countries with learning from abroad, from Europe or Australia. Another project uh, in, 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 in which we work together with, with researchers from IWP is trying, and understanding, trying to understand how the global uh, policy narratives such as, uh, for example, uh, hydropower dams, uh, how does it affect the local livelihoods of people in the countries in the Mekong River Delta, such as Cambodia? Uh, what does it mean to local people to have a hydroelectricity plant being built in the vicinity of their villages? Uh, and this connects to the, to the broader debate uh, or broader questions of how the global meets the local and how the policy innovations contextualize in a particular setting.